The following training will demonstrate the proper method for mass fusion splicing of ribbon fiber optic cable. After the ribbon fiber has been installed into a FOSC fiber optic splice closure, remove the splice deck from the splice tray and select the ribbon fibers to be spliced. The first step is to place a heat shrink protective splice sleeve over one end of the fiber being spliced. Next, select the ribbon fiber holder that corresponds to the number of ribbon fiber strands being spliced. In this training, we are demonstrating splicing 12 fiber ribbon to 12 fiber ribbon. Two holders are required, one left and one right. Orientation of the ribbon fiber in the holder must be duplicated on both sides to ensure the fibers are not flipped so that fiber 1 is being spliced to fiber 1 and not fiber 12. Place the ribbon fiber holder into the thermal stripper. The ribbon fiber holder has a magnet that allows for correct placement into the thermal stripper. Follow manufacturer's guidelines on strip length which may vary based on the fusion splicer manufacturer. Close the lids which will automatically activate the thermal stripper. Once the fiber has been stripped, remove the fiber holder and clean the strip fiber by applying even pressure using a lint-free tissue and approved fiber optic cleaning fluid. Gently flip the end of the strip fiber with your finger to remove any remaining cleaning fluid. Place the stripped and cleaned fiber into the high precision cleaver. As with the thermal stripper, the holder is guided into place by the use of magnets. Ensure that the fibers are lying flat and close the lid on the cleaver and push the small button to cleave the fibers. Once the fibers are cleaved, remove the holder and lift the cover or windshield of the fusion splicer to expose the V-grooves where the fibers will be placed and the electrodes which will fuse the glass. As with the stripper and cleaver, the fiber holder is guided into place with the aid of magnets. Ensure that fibers are laying flat and in individual grooves. If the fibers are not laying properly, remove the holder and try again. The V-grooves may be cleaned with supplied brush if problems persist and line the fibers properly. Caution should be taken to never clean or touch the electrodes. Prepare the other ribbon fiber following the same steps. Prior to stripping the second ribbon fiber, Remember to clean the thermal stripper. Remove the matrixine material and 250 micron coating left in the thermal stripper from the first ribbon fiber. Once the second ribbon fiber has been stripped, cleaned, and placed in the splicer's V grooves, close the windshield. If any one of the 12 individual fibers are not seated properly in the V-grooves, an error message will appear on the screen. At this time, the fusion splicer will automatically clean the fibers, align on the X and Y axis, set the gap, and offset. The electrodes will discharge and the completed fusion splice will appear on the screen with estimated splice loss for each individual fiber. It is important to note the loss is estimated only. Actual splice loss can only be measured with bi-directional OTDR testing. Open the windshield and wait for a few seconds while a tension test is completed. Next, open the ribbon fiber holders and carefully slide the protective sleeve over the splice. Place in the heater with the stainless steel rod facing down. Heater will automatically activate once the lid has been closed. When the heating and cooling operation is complete, an audible beep will be heard. Place the completed splice into the splice deck. Rotate one complete revolution in the direction shown. Clip the splice deck back into the splice tray and neatly dress the remaining ribbon fiber slack.